If you guys have ever wanted to have a really good sunlight viewable monitor in your boat for an underwater camera, you can hook it up to any of the Gen 3 or carbon units. Even the Gen 2 Touch, the 9s and the 12s, you're able to hook up the underwater camera via this video adapter cable that just goes in between the power Boom. cord and the unit. But basically, we just have a, a Markham camera hooked up, which has a smaller screen. So we can either look at a screen that's that size, or we can utilize the HDS that's in our boat, especially when you get into the sunlight and all the viewability uh, issues that come into play with the with the bright sun on screens. The HDS does a really nice job. You can control any of your brightness and all of that right from the display for the camera. So you can do your settings however you want to, to get a good look. Everything depends on water clarity as far as what the camera is showing you. We have the trolling motor down so I can actually run the trolling motor and kind of keep me in place or move me around and look for fish without having to uh, have a remote. I can have one hand on the camera, raising it up and down and look at an area for fish or look at an area for any particular structure that may exist. But we can use it, keep the kids occupied. If you have kids in the boat, I've actually got a uh, portable DVD player in the boat that will uh, put movies in. You get a couple extra hours of fishing time. If you have a smartphone, you want to watch Netflix on, on here, all you have to do is get an adapter that goes from your phone to, to RCA and away you go. You have your video playing right on your HDS units.